As a young boy growing up in remote Bhutan, I heard many stories of tigers, good as well as bad. In Bhutan, if we see tigers in the wild, it is considered sacred and also a symbol of luck. But my childhood memories are also of fear and of acrimony, as the big cats preyed on our livestock. But today, every pug mark is a source of awe and exhilaration for me. I've been following tigers for the last 10 years. My whole life has become all about understanding them and their habitat. Globally, tigers are facing serious threats from habitat destruction, depletion of their prey, and poaching. Across 13 countries, fewer than 4,000 wild tigers remain today. Back in the 1900s, there were at least 100,000 of them. With such alarming decline in number and range size, these magnificent creatures could soon vanish. Bhutan offers a different story, a story of hope and a home, home and habitat to over 100 wild tigers. This is a very significant number and is almost 3% of the global tiger population. The Royal Government of Bhutan and Department of Forest and Park Service in particular is very serious and very keen in securing the future of this magnificent creature. If we do not act now, this iconic species will vanish in the next 30 to 40 years. Bhutan also offers a unique and a diverse sanctuary for tigers. The majestic cats have been recorded on cameras from the searing subtropical forests in the plains to the snow-covered ranges in the Alpine. As the tiger biologist in my country, I have a dream job at the National Tiger Center. Our mandate is to study the mountain tigers. Three years ago, we started a project to radio collar tigers. For weeks and months, we traversed the length and breadth of our pristine forests to track the big cats in the wild. We made arduous treks across the rangeland. We set up remote camera traps and safety snares. But sometimes, things don't go as planned. Many a times, exhilaration turned into frustration. Sometimes, other animals set off our carefully laid out traps. With an all Bhutanese team, we at the National Tiger Center embarked on a pioneering and groundbreaking project. It entailed thorough preparation, detailed planning, perseverance, and most of all, what they call the mother of all virtue, patience. For our tiger coloring project, we used state-of-the-art technology, but we also sought blessings from our spiritual community. Nothing was left to chance. I hope this will help us 
to inspire many, if not a few, of the larger communities to help us in protecting this species and joining us in the endeavor of the conservation of this majestic creature before they are gone out of this planet. Thank you, Interstellar.